After all the products Apple served this year, you're still hungry for more? Well, I don't blame you. There often are so many rumors of upcoming products that never arrive or just need a little more time to bake, and that could leave folks feeling unfulfilled. But sometimes that is on purpose. Apple often knows it's just teasing you with a preview to whet your appetite for more in the new year. Even though Apple is done dishing out treats for 2023, I hope you saved room for one more thing. Let's talk about Apple's leftover products and what could be coming in 2024. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is One More Thing. 2023 has been a wild ride with Apple product launches. I mean, just think about the MacBook Pro. In January, the company comes out with new MacBook Pros with new M2 chips. Fast forward to October, the last product we get of the year is new MacBook Pros with new M3 chips. It didn't even last a full year before it got refreshed. But that's not all. This was the first year that Apple gave us no new version of an iPad. That has not happened since the iPad existed. So not everything is predictable on timing of a new Apple gadget, but we can try to work with what we know from early reports and what Apple does in previous years. Let's start with Macs. The M3 lineup of Apple Silicon debuted in October, and it was added to the MacBook Pros, as I mentioned, but Apple also put M3 chips in the all-in-one iMac. That means other machines are likely going to be getting some M3 upgrade love. The Mac Mini may be getting M3 soon. Apple released a Mac Mini M2 version this past January, so spring seems to be a good bet for a refresh. Adding to that, Bloomberg's Mark Gurman reported Apple has been testing M3 on a few Mac machines. Gurman wrote that he believes the testing is being done on the Mac Mini, but he also reported M3 has been tested on future MacBook Airs. Maybe a few Macs will blossom this spring with M3. It makes me wonder, how will Apple roll out new Macs early in the year when the company also wants to make a big splashy launch for its first mixed reality headset, the Apple Vision Pro? We do not have an exact date yet. The company says it is coming sometime early 2024. And when Vision Pro does come out, Apple retail stores may need to have a whole area set up just for people to try out this new thing. But it would probably be done by appointment only, kind of like how it was when Apple Watches first debuted in 2015. Back then, you couldn't just walk up to a table to try out an Apple Watch. I'd wonder what kind of experience they would make for folks. Will there be private VR rooms? Will it be out in the open so you could see customer reactions and feel that FOMO, maybe a bit of both. Now, what about the iPad? With no new iPad in 2023, which model is gonna get a boost first? I would expect the iPad mini is a sure bet. The mini has gone longest without an update. It also got skipped over in 2022. Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo predicted we could see much more than a mini. He says every version of the iPad is on track for a refresh soon. He forecasts the iPad Pros will jump to an OLED display with an M3 processor. Kuo also said two new versions of the iPad Air are scheduled for mass production in early 2024. And there would be a new 11th generation version of the standard iPad. But that means this would be the last chapter for the iPad 9th generation. Maybe that's why we're seeing such big discounts on the 9th gen iPad for Black Friday sales. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. It's not only Quo who has been talking about new iPads. Bloomberg reporter Mark Gurman has sources telling him that iPad Pros are getting the M3 and moving to OLED screens for 11 and 13 inch sizes. We're also hearing about a new iPad Pro Magic Keyboard in the works, which Gurman reported would help make the iPad Pro look more like a laptop and it gives a larger trackpad. But when will they arrive? There isn't always a set season for iPads. It could be something that arrives in the spring or in the fall. All signs point to 2024 being a huge year for Apple Watch. It is the 10th year, and that means Apple may get to do its thing it loves to do, naming products with an X for the Roman numeral 10. And that means Apple may also be launching it with big updates or changes in design, similar to iPhone 10's big leap. But the expectations about the watch waver 
depending on what you read. Bloomberg's Gurman has said we could see the watch be thinner or have new types of bands or the display could change to micro LED. But that's not such a sure thing. Analyst Quo later said the 2024 Apple Watch is unlikely to have significant innovative experiences. And he said don't expect micro LED displays. There's long been talk about new health features in the works like blood glucose monitoring or blood pressure measurements. This is pretty complicated tech for the wrist. And the latest expectation is that you may see something that lightly touches on monitoring these issues. German reported there will be a sensor to tell you when the blood pressure is elevated, but it won't give exact systolic and diastolic measurements, at least not yet. His report also said the new Apple Watch could also have a sensor to detect sleep apnea. It already feels like I talked about so much, but we gotta talk about AirPods. Bloomberg also has sources pointing to a revamp coming for the whole AirPod lineup, reporting that 2024 includes new entry-level models and new AirPods Max. The current low-end AirPods, second and third gen, are said to be replaced by two types of fourth gen AirPods. And the more expensive version of the two would have noise cancellation and a charging case that could have speakers for playing those find my AirPods alerts. AirPods Max, which has never been updated since its debut in 2020, will reportedly include a switch to USB-C and it could come in some new colors. But what about the AirPods Pro? That could be a 2025 thing. Apple needs to do more than just upgrade the AirPods Max to a USB-C charging port. I would expect Apple needs to start rolling out USB-C to all sorts of its accessories, including things like Magic Mouse, which still has a lightning port. Oh, and I've gone this long and I didn't mention the iPhone 16. Yeah, you didn't need my video to tell you that you should expect an iPhone 16 in September. So. Let's keep moving right along. But yes, there is a lot of anticipation and questions if Apple would make a fourth gen iPhone SE. Some reports say it could be a 2024 thing. Some say it's a 2025 thing. And some wonder if the iPhone SE will even be a thing ever again. What are your fanciful 2024 product wishes? Are you dreaming of a HomePod with a screen? Looking forward to Apple stuffing Siri with AI smarts? Clearly, there's gonna be a lot for us to digest in the coming year, but let me know in the comments what new Apple gear you want to dig into first. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.